CBAI. Hey there, my name is Cam. Welcome to CBAI. Today I'm going to show you how to use Suno Workspaces. This literally just came out today, January 14th, uh, at least for users on the mid-tier feature, the $10 a month plan. I forget the title of what that plan's called, but anyway, it's a new feature. And so essentially what it's uh, you can check it out here if you go to the what's new area in the home page or wherever you're at in Suno. But essentially what Workspaces is, is I, and I have, uh, what Workspaces is, it's a way for you to organize your music. Uh, if you're like me and you've been using it for a little while, I think I started around August last year, around there. It's getting, if you have a song and you're working on, on it a long time, you will have a lot of files a lot of tracks and it gets hard to keep track of them Suno did not have great organization features and now they have it so that's awesome now you can actually not get lost if you have like 20 or 30 versions of your song they're trying to get the perfect one so that's awesome it's gonna help you organize and uh, the music you already have and the music that you're creating as you go along and uh, I can tell you at least one other cloud software. I work in technology industry too, uh, in software in my regular job, and I've seen this in other cloud software. So um, this whole spaces thing is uh, uh, it's cool. Let me show you around. Let's jump in there. I just learned how to do this to myself today too, so this will be more on the basic side, how to use it, how to access it. So go to library. Um, actually don't go to library excuse me they haven't really added a button that I can find um, off the main here like in library if I'm if you find that button put it in the comments but where you really want to go is create excuse me so go to create and then uh, the, the page is gonna look a little bit different this may look slightly different depending on what you've already pulled up um, so let's go to the main one if it's gonna default to only having one called my workspace and this is where all of my songs that I've made have uh, pre my all of my songs that I've made up to them releasing this feature are here and so uh, the first thing is how do you access the, the workspaces well you do have to go to create and then you have to go to if you want to see all the workspaces, you'll see this little left arrow up here. Click on that, and then you will be in workspaces. You can see I have four created right now. And then uh, the next thing is, how do I make a new one? Well, once you're on workspaces, click on new workspace over here. Name it, whatever you want to name it. Create that workspace, and then it's going to immediately take you into a new one. So then the next thing is how would I add a song to this workspace? Well, let's add a song here just to make it fast. Let's just make it, uh, I don't know, just like trance. I'll make a style song here. I won't not worry about the persona. You could do whatever you wanted to do. I'll just name it testing one, two, three workspaces. And then down here is the workspace that you would add it to. It did default to testing one two three if I didn't like that I could click X and then I'll go back into the main workspace click on the drop down and then pick the space that you want to add it to or you could go down here and even create another one if you wanted to so I'm gonna add it to my testing one two three and then it's gonna default there again create that song so now all of your songs are gonna go in here this is great because now if you're trying different things you can uh, and put it in here so maybe instead I wanted to try the uh, I don't know let's see what am I thinking here so that's loading maybe I also wanted to add my drum and bass again just doing this for an example not not really gonna be testing out songs at the moment so then they're all going in here and you can organize it so that's cool now if you're working on your um, your song whatever you want to name it you can go up here now let's say I didn't like the name of it I wanted to change it maybe I'll just call this my EDM my EDM song now I changed the name of my workspace so it should update itself uh, so let's say I had other songs I wanted to add in here later maybe I don't want to make this just my EDM song I'm working on now maybe I want to just put all my EDM songs in here 
So I'll rename it my EDM songs. And then what I need to go is to my library, or at least this would be one way. So now I, maybe I want to go find out where all my other, um, what's the name I'm looking for? Let me think. I know I have a, uh, I know I have an EDM songs in here. I've made a few. Wherever you organized it before, you could find it. So I have this Liquid Jungle drum and bass remastered here. Let's add that one in there. So I would just go over to dot, dot, dot. And I would go, now they've added this move to workspace. Go there. Pick the workspace you want to add it to. Click on it. And now it is there. It should show up for us. So now it's right here. So I added another one. Another cool thing that they added now since they've released workspaces is you can select multiple songs. So let me show you what that would look like. Let's see how many I have of that forgetting self. Um, oh, oh, I know what I'll do. Let's go. I've been working on this really kind of experimental thing called Intermerifica. It's a Latin. All of my ones that I've been working on, you can see I have a lot of these, right? This is all kind of like a one really long track I'm trying to make based on this document called Intermerifica. I'm trying to basically take this document, uh, all the text from it, and turn it into like an audiobook almost, but with background music that I wanted so I could listen to it in a way that I had music I liked and I was learning at the same time. So if I, let's say I wanted to add all of these, I would just click the top one, select it, go down to whatever the last one is you want to add, and then hold the shift button down, click on the last one that you want to add, and then now everything will be highlighted. And then I believe we should be able to just move these all to a workspace. So click on the dot, dot, dot next to any song, move to workspace. And then I will call my new workspace Intermerifica, create that, and they all should be moved there. I think I have to refresh my screen. Let's see here. And let's add all the rest of them. Let's do it one more time. So I have a lot of these. Let's see if this worked. I'll add all of those too. Now I have Intermerifica. I moved all of those over. Let's go see if it worked. Now I'm back in workspaces. Intermerifica. Now my songs are here. Looks like I made the second time. Maybe it didn't work, but anyway. You can see how that works. Now you can add lots of songs at the same time if they all have the same title. I This is awesome. I was getting kind of like lost with my track sometimes. It was a little tricky to, uh, to track it, and you can see what I was doing. I was like naming it all kinds of things like A5 and B and 9A and things like that. So that's cool. Really great feature. Really love that. This is really needed. It's not as uh, sexy as some new feature to fix the stems that are breaking or something that everybody has problems with, but uh, it's still very useful for creators. Um, so that would be how you'd add a song if the uh, that you've already created before workspaces were out, or songs, song or songs. Okay, let's say that... Um, uh, Let's say you had a, another one and you decide, I just don't like this, I'm going to give up on the song, or I just want to clean it up and I have too many workspaces. I could go back into workspaces. Again, we would be in create, and then, um, yeah, you'd be here. Go to whatever one you want to delete. So I'm going to delete this one called my experimental song. Go over to dot, 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 and move it to the trash. Now your workspace is in the trash. If you go, oh crap, I didn't mean to delete that just go over at the bottom it's not a very visible button uh, so you know you should probably make that button bigger um, but go to view trash workspaces and then I have two trash workspaces one that I just literally named trash to test it and then this one and you go okay maybe I didn't really want to delete that go to your three dots again just restore it like that now it will be back in your your area there lastly all of your songs are going to be defaulting, I believe. They will be defaulting to my workspace. So this is like, I have like 800 in here. So let me show you some ways that you can navigate. 
just like you could in library, you could search by the song name. So if I wanted to search for, let's see, I think I have a song with the name Flow in it. Steady Flow, okay, my EDM music. So three of those came up. So there's one thing you can do. You can search by song title, styles of the music, or by something, you even by excluded styles. So maybe I excluded vocal. Let's see. Yeah, all of these I tried to exclude some kind of vocal thing in there so that's kinda cool that you can search that right now it has it will default to a filter these are really cool so uh, let's open that up now this is really awesome too as especially with a space like this one that has like 889 songs I can filter it by what I wanna see right now it will default so you will not see the songs that you disliked but maybe you did wanna see that now I can see everything or they even just made a button right here. I only want to see my liked songs. So now only things that I have clicked like on before will show up. So everything is thumbs up over here. And then going down the list, maybe you want to add a few. I don't think it would, let's see, if you clicked both of these, what would that do? So you can search for your liked and you can hide your disliked, which I think would do the same. I don't know. But uh, let's uncheck them both. So now we see all our songs, and then I could go through and do different things. So public would be songs that you have clicked the public button here. Uploads would be mute, uh, s um, tracks that you have uploaded yourself. I don't have a whole lot of those, but for example, um, I made some other videos where I was doing that, or just trying out different music. So that would be where you've done uploading of music recordings yourself into Suno. Full songs would be songs that you, um, it's not going to be all your tracks, even if they are full songs. It's going to be specifically songs that you like extended or did modifications to, and then you use the get whole song feature within Suno, which would be under create. It's not going to show up here unless you have that option available. Most commonly, it would happen if you use the extend button, and then you created an extend track, and then you wanted to patch them together the final result would be full song and it will be showing up here with this little icon extensions like I just mentioned if you have an extension it's gonna show you there this little link part two and then that would be where you could create and get whole song so if you wanted just to only see all the things you're extending that would be that one covers would be all the songs that you already had a version of and then you created a cover of it for example, you can see what that is like because it will show down here. It'll say cover of blah, blah, blah. Or it will just say in parentheses if you let it do that. It defaults to putting parentheses, cover in parentheses. Personas would be songs that you created using one of your personas. I won't get into what those are today, but uh, those would be if you want to save the vibe of the song and reuse it later for other songs you're making, such as maybe make an album with all the same sound, or all kind of sounds like it's the same band making the, all the songs, you could create um, Persona, let's see, well it would say create Persona, but these are already been, already, uh, cr already have a Persona linked. The Persona shows here, for example, this one says 80s Metal Max Cinco Riff. Lastly, anything that you've remastered will show up if you click the remaster button. Or you could clear all. So you can go back to seeing everything, except it goes defaults to hiding all your disliked. So again, we could undo that. Lastly, um, instead of, you know, I used to find it kind of a pain clicking through, and there's a little bit of delay when you move through your songs. And if you have a lot like me, then. One more thing you can do is if you do happen to know roughly where your track is, now they added this feature, and it's not only in workspaces, this is in library too. You could go in here to the page number and just type whatever you wanted, and then it's just going to pull it up for you. So that is awesome. Ah, one more thing. One more thing while we're here. Check this out. For some reason, if you wanted to really highlight one song, maybe this is your bass song that you really like and you're trying to do a lot of extensions, or uh, for whatever reason you want to take a song that's in your big list, if you have a large workspace, and put it on the top, you can do that. It looks like you cannot do it with the My Workspace, which is your main one, but if you go to a different one, let's pick this one that has 22. 
If you go over here, check this out. There is a pin button, which is pretty nice. So let's say I liked this one and I want to keep that in mind as I'm generating new tracks. Click on the pin button and it goes to the top. So you could pin a few of your songs if you wanted to be keeping track of those. Not sure how many it'll let me do here, but uh, oh, you can see it down here. It has pin four are pinned. So uh, I or I could unpin it, etc., etc. So again, all lots of useful um, organization tools with uh, Suno workspaces, and that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please give me a like. Uh, if it was helpful for you, uh, if you would like to see more of these videos please give me a subscribe uh, we'll I'll keep working on these and making videos about Suno and all different uh, topics and then uh, uh, anything that you would like would have liked to see that, that I can improve in my videos please leave me a comment with constructive feedback please be specific though so I know what you're talking about I, it has to be kind of specific or I, it might be hard for me to understand what you're asking um, and, let, and if you like this video leave me a comment too. tell me what you liked I want to keep getting better but just like in uh, technology I want to get that user feedback so you're my subscribers tell me what you like what you don't like what kind of video you want to see I am taking notes uh, plan on making more videos so if you let me know I, I uh, you know you keep giving me ideas to make this better so with that being said my name is cam this is cbai and you just watched how to use suno workspaces thanks again and i hope you all have a good one take care